his vocabulary is. Dog owners who are literally at the end of their rope because of their problem pets have become increasingly turning, have been increasingly turning to a dog listener for help. The woman has been sought out for her, her uncanny ability to communicate with canines. <laughs> we asked them to try a session with the dog whisperer. Hi, Tim. John. What's the problem? Um, we kind of have an out-of-control dog. <laughs> Jan Fennell speaks a primal language dogs can understand and teaches dog owners an attitude they can quickly adopt. Step one, ignore the dog. Now, don't look at her eyes at this moment. Don't look at her. I know that's hard. Kim, please don't look at her eyes. Because if you look at her eyes, she's going, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Now, straight out. Put her straight out. Don't speak to her. Jan trains dogs to accept owners as their alpha leader by emulating their natural behavior. Remember, this is a wolf. She may not resemble a wolf, but she's a wolf in here. The instincts are all the same, but the respect for hierarchy is the key of this. The wolf has the perfect democracy. Everybody does their part. But don't do your part when you know what it is. Problem dogs think they are responsible for their owners. That, according to Jan, leads to separation anxiety, barking, and too much stress. New way, non-confrontational, calm, you become leader. Take this, she is so stressed out. Yeah. I, you can tell that she's stressed out just from the way she acts during the day. Meal time is another opportunity to show just who is in charge. Now, I want you to eat those crackers. Just a couple each. She's watching you like mad. Don't react to her. She's watching you. It's great. Now pick up her bowl. Put it down, one of you, and then walk away. Now, what you've shown with that is there's the kill. I eat first. You get what I leave. Millie, after a few hours with Jan, seems to be catching on and enjoying life at the back of the pack. I've done nothing to make this happen by a miracle. Not like that. But imagine yourself, um, you know, you're in a strange place with a foreign language and people are talking around you and you're listening and suddenly somebody says hey I speak English you think oh thank goodness that's all we've got at the moment it's incredible like dude, <laughs> we, we've never been able to really calm our dog down when it's you know when we've had people over mm -hmm. and uh and I mean she's just relaxed we always just thought she was a very hyper dog and she always had way too much activity she wants to chill out right now it's great. Mm. Jan Fennell is the author of The Dog Listener. Good morning to you, Jan. Good morning. They make it look so easy. That's typical. Really? That, yeah, I've worked with thousands, and that is what happens. So how do you, how do you guarantee that, that the dog's owners will stay the head of the pack, so to speak? You saw the owners at the beginning. They're upset. They love their dog. They're upset. They're anxious. The end of the piece, they were relaxed and happy. They know what to do. That's why they're going to do it. It's not because I'm going to stand over them with a big stick and you do this. Right, right. The Willies, they, they, they see the transformation. I've spoken to Kim, you know, in the last... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the first peaceful evening they've ever had. Really? It just progresses and it's self perpetuates well, Your theory is that dogs are descended from wolves. Oh, absolutely. And that they need an alpha leader. They need yeah. a head of the pack. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you've got four steps, as you mentioned, a few of them in, mm -hmm. in here, yeah. to make sure that that happens. The first is ignore the dog. Yeah, but not for long. Initially. Initially. When you walk in the door after you've been uh, gone all day. No, even, even any separation. If you close the door between you and the dog, then when you return, just ignore it for a few moments. Initially, if your dog is very hyperactive, make it five minutes. You know, you get it down to just a few seconds. And what does that do? That shows the dog that your comings and goings are no concern of the dog. If you come in and you say hello to the dog, you're saying, Your Majesty, before I enter the house, I have to give you homage. That it's sort of the center of the universe. Yeah. And so when you're not I'm around... In charge. Oh, yeah, remember, if it believes itself as leader, it's responsible for you. So right. when you go out the door, where's my baby? Right. So they whip up the furniture, they're hyperactive, they're distressed. What would any parent do? They're if they nervous because terrified. their babies are gone. Another thing, nervousness, you know, noise? Mm -hmm. If you believe you're leader, who can you turn to? These are the kids. They don't know any more than you do. All right, dealing with danger signals. Yeah. A dog, you see, if, if a dog believes its leader, every day is a day of a thousand threats. You know, the postman, somebody walking past the house, they've gone out, everything is a threat. You're on your nerves, ain't it? Yeah. But if you're not the leader, every day's breeze, every day's fun. 
because the alpha, the leaders, can do as they like, and all you've got to do is respond when they want you. Cool. This is my little one. Her name She's is She's wonderful, Kat. isn't she? I noticed when she, when she came in, you didn't you didn't pay attention necessarily. Well, she right? doesn't know me. She doesn't know. If you had a three-year-old, yeah? Yeah. And the child came in here with you, and I went to that three-year-old, hello, <gasps> I don't know you. You know, I mean, her eyes are a little bit anxious. Yeah. I'm not going to add to that anxiety. If we were together in a room quietly and she started coming to me, then I would start to communicate. I love dogs. But if you do it inappropriately, it scares them. I don't want to scare her. All right, next principle, how to take charge of the walk. Even Tess walks me sometimes. Yeah, well, if you're the leader, where should you be? Where should you be if you're the leader? Should the you be... Oh, they should be following you. No, they should be by your side, relaxed. But if the dog believes it's leader, it's going to be in the front. And no amount of jerking it back and yanking it is going to change the mind. So how do you make sure that that happens? You teach them with food reward, to walk by your side nicely without a lead in the house. Make it fun. No place like home. Dorothy said it. No place like home. Teach the manners like you do a child at home, working around. Then when you put the lead on, if it goes to go forward, no, sweetheart, back here. Give them a little treat. Reward back. Give them a reason. There. You know, like you teach your child, right. tar, respond. Got to have a reason. Dogs like us. Give us a reason. So the treat is food power, which is your last tip. Food power. Oh, yeah, because in the in the, for a pack to survive, they must eat. The alphas must eat first. By gesture eating, you watch her watch what was going on. Now, the thing is with Millie, she actually would walk away from her food because you can't sit down and enjoy a meal if you're anxious. And another thing couldn't believe, Kim couldn't believe was that she was eating from that bowl quite relaxed. Now, are these tips to, to train a dog from a puppy like little Tess is? It's at any age. If you've got a dog of 11 that's been getting it wrong because the dog already knows this language, I'm not teaching a dog anything, actually. The dog already knows this. Right. We've been doing it for thousands Keeping of years. Keeping the owners. Um, helping the owners get it across. You know? <laughs> Don't just be so heavy on them. Helping I, the owners I understand. tried to ignore Tess last night, and it was so hard. Oh, I know. Believe me, when I first started this, I was thinking, what am I doing? But when I got the response, when you see dogs across the world who are endangered or they're aggressive, going to be destroyed, put down for being biting, and you can stop all of this. Did change them. Did change them. It's fascinating. The book is The Dog Listener. Yeah. I know you've had such great response in England. Good luck to you in the United States. Thank you. I know it's already a hit. Thank yeah. you, Jan Fennell. My pleasure.